welcome everyone to round two of the Australian GTE Challenge, sponsored by Moonraker Design and Print. Uh, thank you guys for showing up tonight. Uh, we've actually got a really good feel tonight, so um, keep it clean. Uh, obviously, remember to um, ask before you tow, uh, and let's try and get the safety car out of this, guys, so we don't have to use that. Um, good luck, guys, and uh, have fun. Cheers. Open up the timing screen again. Oh, my sounds work. The headphone. Okay. So, I'm going to grid it out. Okay. Uh, chase. All right. Here we go. Look, like everyone made it through pretty clear. Let's get back to racing. Here we go. Telford out in front, leading the Fusion Sim uh, Ferrari, and then Rob Bowden in the tanked Ferrari. Nathan hot on the tails there. Uh, yes, Euro. This um, this series follows ESS um, schedule. So, yeah, just to give people a little bit more practice if they wanted. So, oh, Nathan pulls out there, has a little bit of a moment. Uh, Rob ready to, ready to pounce there. Go back in the pack, see what we've got here. Rob Bowden, hot on the heels of, of the sim racing Ferrari. Ferrari. Nice clean first lap. No incidents. Heavy under the brakes. Oh, we've got a clean, clean mid pack battle here. Mitch Brown in seventh position, following Pete Edwards. Like Dean Hunt just got past Tommy Bryden through turn one there. But the battle at the front, incredibly close. Elford's pulled a little bit of a gap, about a second now, uh, while these three battle. Great little battle here for, for the next spots on the podium. Go on board now. Go on board with Craig. Pushing the Porsche to its absolute limits here. But we've got a bit of a battle going back here for 8, 9th and 10th. Paul Vett hot on the heels of Matthew Broom in the Ford. Ooh, and the Ferrari's deep under brakes there. Jack locks the, the left front there coming in. Go back to the lead pack here. Looks like Nathan's gained some ground on Telford. Taking about a half a second out. He was only two tenths quicker on that last lap, but um, but he's gained about another two tenths on this lap already. So uh, 
battle for third is also heating up too with Rob. Craig. Chris. Right. Right on the heels there. Not too far behind as well. Within a second of Craig as well. So uh, the top six all split by about three seconds. So very, very close racing here. Back to the battle for eighth, ninth, tenth here. Mitch Brown in clean air, they clean air with with um, P7. So great stuff, and it looks like we've got a little bit of a draft mission happening here with Sean, and he pulls out to the left. You're going to get him under the brakes. No, he follows him into turn one, hides his time, and hopefully he can uh, make it up on, on the next lap. So but Nathan's got some. Pretty quick top uh, straight line speed in that Ferrari uh, with a little bit of draft as well. I think that helps. Thomas Telford doing a really good job. That front. Robin Craig here, battling it out for P3. Nathan right on the heels of Telford here. He's possibly going to make a move onto the turn one here, so let's keep a close eye on this. It's all of the road there. Great shot coming down there into turn one. Hard on the brakes. Alpha keeps it together. And can't quite capitalize on it. Hot on the heels, but can't quite get it done. Sean in a similar position here on Matthew. Can he make it happen? Down the inside. You make it stick, and it looks like Jack's gonna go with him. I don't think Matthew would be happy with that. And it looks like Nathan's gone into P1. Quite sure what happened there. Let's see. Um, let's go back a little bit further. Like he just had a little bit more speed and put up alongside him going into the kink and that's pushed that's pushed Telford wide so unfortunately he's had to give way to that one real shame so Nathan out in front now oh uh, looks like Pete Edwards has had a moment here let's see what happened there just a little bit too hot coming into that corner there and he nudges the wall that's really unfortunate he's had a couple of rough weeks uh, Pete has so hopefully he can get, get in get that fixed and get back out there so and Jack makes a move down to turn one and he makes a stick close racing in the mid back here so love to see it Sean's not giving up without a fight though he's definitely still hot on the tail pulls up beside him Oh, it looks like Rob Bowden's. What's happened here? I've completely missed something. Nathan must have had an accident. Um, hang on, let's go back. So Nathan spins out, goes sideways into turn uh, turn four, uh, and Rob capitalizes and goes through into the lead. Huge move by Rob. Um, just patiently waiting. This race has got more interesting as it goes. Craig Edwards hot on the heels of Telford's Ford GT. Very depressing.
It's really unfortunate for Pete. Um, just had a little bit of a moment there, and it and it happens to the best of us, unfortunately. So, battle at the top here is very close. Sean right on the heels of, of, of Jack here, but just can't quite get past it. A little bit, a little bit fast. Top three, battling it out. All within, all within three tenths of each other. Craig sticks his nose. Doesn't quite get there. Oh, they touch. Ray goes in. They do the crossover. Unfortunately, he cannot make it stick, so Elford moves down into third position. Chris Barnes right on his heels as well. I've really got to stop saying on his heels. Everyone's, everyone's on each other's heels. Someone's gone into the wall. Or maybe they just a slight touch on the wall there. Not quite sure who that was. I think it was the Pete Edwards, maybe. Uh. Quite sure what happened there. Chris Barnes, fantastic job P4 here. Using the Ferrari uh, to his advantage here. Great, great track for the Ferrari. has got quick, uh, quick changes. Really handle the quick direction change though. So, uh, looks like Tommy Bryden went 1.2 seconds faster than uh, Dean in front of him on that last lap, so very real chance that he could jump into the top 10 here and gain some points, so. All four all really close here, pushing it really hard, so they will not be saving any sort of tire life. Um, Chris pulls up the side. Can he make it stick? Going into turn four. Now side by side. Only just. Only just. Telford's not going to give up easy. Pushes Chris a little bit wide, but Chris does edge out in front. The Telford back into fourth position now. Go back to the battle for the lead. Craig Edwards just not quite within reach of, of Rob here. Uh, Rob really, really thrives in this Ferrari. He does such a good job in that car. But these three are very close as well. Mitch Bryden has, uh, Mitch Brown has been uh, sitting pretty for a little bit, so um, got to be a little bit careful. He was a little bit off the pace on that last lap, went one point two slower than um, Jack behind him. So uh, he's got to be careful. They're, they're coming for him. So looks like Tommy Bryden's taking his pit stop super early. Um, Possibly just to get it over and done with. Interesting tactic. See if it pa pays out. Um, who knows? Uh, looks like Craig goes into 
He won. Let's see what happened here. Like he's just made a dive. Coming into turn four, I think it is. Yep, just pulled up beside him. Late break. Just gets it done. Runs a little bit wide. And then Rob. And takes it straight back. So, great little battle here between these two guys. Battle for the top spot is hot and very, very dangerous at the top there. So, pushing it to the absolute lim limits. Uh, Jack is right, right up against Mitch there. Let's see what's going to happen here. Is, is Craig going to move into turn one here? Is he going to hang out and try and pull a similar move to what he did on the last, last lap? Looks like he might not be close enough. No, and it looks like... Uh, Jack made a move here, so this is a replay. Go back. Pulled out. Pulled out Sorry right. That match. Oh, and he fortunately misses his braking marker and runs a little Sorry bit. Sorry to tell you the dummy. All right. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Not quite sure when the pit stop comes into play. Um, obviously, I don't know how much fuel these guys have on board. I know the Ferrari is definitely a little bit more uh, fuel efficient uh, when it comes to these GT cars compared to, say, the, um, the Porsche. I know the Porsche does tend to use a little bit more fuel. Like Sean has made a move on Mitch. Uh, Mitch has gone into the pit lane. Like he might be just trying to possibly use his fast repair there. It looks like Craig goes into P1, doing the same move on Rob again. Uh, this time he makes it stick, but Rob's not having that. Jack is in the pits. He's hobbled back to the pits, so. And Tommy Bryden moves into 11th position. Stay as Jack comes out right on, right in line with him. So, Brighton will be on warmer tyres, uh, but Jack will have a little bit more grip when they come up attempt, so we're going to see how that plays out. Right, we've got Nathan, only 1.1 behind Telford, and he comes into pit, so... Hanked SRT boys 2 and 3, which is... Huge points for those guys, which is fantastic. So, uh, Craig's pulled a little bit of a gap out there. Nathan's in the pits. It's like everyone's sort of around the 10 second mark for pit stops. So, with the quickest one being 9.8 of Peter Edwards. So, and a little bit of a, a bit of a drag race down in turn one here. Jack just pulls out in front. 
I know Thomas won't be happy about that, so... He's going to try and push here. Oh, I know Thomas. <laughs> he wouldn't... He's not going to let him get away with it. That's for sure. Most battle for the last remaining points here, so... He sticks the nose down, but doesn't quite capitalize on it. Look, Elford's caught back up to Chris, so... I wonder if later on in the stint, the board's got a little bit extra. Higher life, maybe, or he's done a little bit of higher saving there. And Stephen Thomas comes into pits now. Into P10. Pete Edwards gets past Thomas Bryden there. Turn one. Telford comes into the pits. Lap 15, so we'll see how this plays out for him. Like he will possibly come out around about where Nathan is, so it's gonna be interesting here. That's Nathan just there. My pass left, your run um, faster. Go, go. So Telford out in front, Mitch Brown, Pete Edwards gets past Jack, uh, he knows he's a little bit faster than him so, so this is your leader Craig Edwards with a comfortable 1.2 second gap here back to Rob Bowden. Uh, I'm going to assume that in the next couple of laps, Craig's going to come in. I think the tanked boys will go at least one lap longer. Um, but only the top five yet to hit, so... Nathan really close to Telford here, so... He'll be looking to make that move, get that position back. About halfway through the race now. Start seeing the rest of the field here. Uh, pull in for some pit stops. It'll be quicker than you think. Uh, I think. I know the tanked boys are really good at saving fuel. Kitten, what's going on? Vroom. Not yet. 
Does not come in this lap. quick uh boys in red tonight are doing really well positions two and three which is a great finish for them if they can they can hold out for another another few laps uh wouldn't be surprised if next couple of laps we'll see some good stops here from the front runners uh, which would then put Telford back in the mix because uh, if you look at the gap, which I don't know if you guys can see at the moment, but the gap to Telford from the leader, 25 seconds. It takes about 35 seconds to transit pit lane and do your pit stop. So, uh, Telford's in a really good position. And Telford goes through on Matt Broom, who's now in the pits. Milford and Huppets. Oh, a little bit loose coming out of there. A bit of a moment there. We came out. Let's have a quick look at that. Watch here. Just a little bit loose coming out of there. Yep. And it looks like Huppets has gotten past him. So he won't be happy about that, but... Um, might be able to save a little bit of fuel there, so. Now only the top four left to pit. Very real possibility here that Nathan and Telford will come out in the lead after the pit stops. And Craig comes into the pits now. Two tanked boys keep going. All right, so here's the real battle now. Uh, as the time ticks down, Craig needs a perfect pit stop here. Needs to be at least nine seconds. Nine point nine seconds. That's pretty good. And here's here's the other two. Craig pulls out just ahead of him. Under race and they show the new type R driving in camo voiceover people. What that has to be Civic. It's Civic. <laughs> he was clearly the type R, yeah. <laughs> Craig Edwards pulls out in front. With a comfortable four second gap. He's dropping a little bit, so uh, let's see if the tank boys come in now. Not yet, but they'll be going one more lap. I think Sean will be coming in this lap, so that'll put him back to about the fifth or sixth spot. No, going one more lap.
So your effective leader, at the moment, it will be really, really close. So I think your effective leader at the moment will still be Rob Bowden, actually. Uh, no, sorry, it will be Craig Edwards come out in front. this the lap? Is this the penultimate lap? Does not look like it. Close battle here. This is effectively E3 and 4 I believe. Uh, possibly 4 and 5 depending on what happens with pit stops. And Sean now into the pits. Craig Edwards moves up in a third. Nathan Huppets up in a fourth. Elford in a fifth. Don't think Mitch can get into the sixth spot here. I think his timing will be close. It will be very close coming in. Sean comes out of the pit lane here. It's a very tricky pit lane. You can go quite quick, but it's very hard to sort of take that long left-hander. Takes a little bit of grass on the exit. Comfortably out in front of Mitch there. Thomas Bryden following him back there a little bit. Hoping that he can salvage some points. Go, Mitch. He's doing well, he's doing well, P7. Up eight spots from where he started. So, wait, eight spots, sorry. Up one spot, started P8. And the two tank boys are into the pits. So Craig Edwards will be your effective leader, I believe. come out. Craig does go past them. Can they get a quick pit exit? Look at this. Look at this. Not quite. Can't quite do it, unfortunately. Definitely more, a little bit more grip on the road than there is in the pit lane exit, but Craig's done a really good job there. Getting out in front. Rob won't be happy, so he will be pushing. Always worry he'll have hardware issues. He said before he was having issues with... He's like, I can see everyone's paint but the safety cars. Like, you always have issues with paint. That was still a very good exit. He did a really good job. Bill McLaughlin up four spots from the start. Really, really great drive from him in the uh, Corvette. In the anime Corvette. I'm not sure what anime that is. Maybe a listener could tell me. Let's we can see what it is. Not sure what that is. Not sure, uh, uh, an avid, an avid anime. Watcher could tell me. Looks like Jacques had a bit of a moment there uh, in the final corner. Like he might have taken a little bit too much curb, possibly. Under brakes. And just, just touches the grass. Thomas Bryden goes through in a 10th position with the with the points. Fantastic.
little over 10 minutes to go. Two HTS racing guys battling closely. Synchronized four GTs here. <laughs> Great to watch. We really love to watch that. It goes through to P8. Looks like Chris has had a bit of a rough lap. Nathan closing the gap. Daz, what's going on? My God, I was just thinking about you today. Hope you're doing well, man. Been a little while. Really great race at the front here. Rob trying to really hunt down Craig Edwards. But uh, those Fusion Sim Racing boys are fast. Very fast. How's them doing good, man? Doing really good. Doing really good. Hope you are too. Uh, yes, Interlagos. This is the Australian GTE Challenge is a series that I run every Thursday night. Uh, GTEs only. Uh, fix setup and follow the follow the ESS schedule. Same as the European Sprint schedule. Kind of wish I didn't go to school. Yeah, I get that, mate. I really do. I do. Think about that a lot. I wonder what my life would have been like if I had a left in the turn. It would have been very, I think very different. Very different. Close battle hit third. Oh, and Chris runs wide. Oh, and so does Thomas. Unfortunately, just, just clipped that grass there. It happened so easily. I don't know what that was. Jack was heading past. Fair enough. The real shame for Telford there, unfortunately. Finished all my work in graphic design. Teacher was away, so I had nothing to do. Yeah. There's a few, um, I don't know if you know this Taz, there's a few websites out there that will give you like a fake brief. Um, and it gives you like sort of constraints and stuff, which is kind of cool. So I can send you a few of those if you want, just to sort of, I mean, I still use them. I do it now still. Yeah, I will. I'll send it to you. Because it's kind of cool because, it, like, you can come up with stuff yourself, but nothing is like a real life brief. So it's cool. Good. Like, everyone's sort of settled in their ways here for this race. It's um, a little over five minutes to go. We've got about four laps. Craig Edwards in first, 1.5 seconds back to Rob Bowden. And then we've got about four seconds back to Nathan. Two seconds back to Chris. And then a bit of a gap back to Telford. Dawn McLaughlin. 
Pitch Brown. Chevrolet. Pete Edwards in P8. Matthew Broom P9. Thomas Bride in the top 10. Fantastic drive by him. Oh, commentator's curse. Commentator's curse. I am very sorry, Thomas. Very sorry. I, I did that. I did that. <laughs> oh, no. Craig's pulled a two second gap now to Rob. So, um, unless Craig has a bit of a moment, which to be honest, in the last few laps of the last race, he did have a couple of moments back uh, where he was just, he just lost, I think, some of the little, little bit of the tire grip and just, yeah, bad news. Unfortunately, not too many close battles. Focus on here. Sean Anton's done a really good job. Sorry, Sean McLaughlin's done a really good job here. Go on board. I don't know what is wrong with the sound of this Corvette. But it sounds horrible. That's broken. Very broken. Ah, uh, the dog's good. Really good, yeah. For a walk before, he was very excited. Loves a walk. Loves a good walk. No, he's been good. It's quite the guard dog, though. He really likes to park a bit. Yeah, I'm glad we waited. Like, I'm glad we waited until we got one. Because we got the right one, you know. We didn't just sort of rush into it, but it's so... It's great. It's honestly been so good having it around. Especially during lockdown. We would have struggled, really. All right, we only got about two minutes to go here. Craig Edwards is... Slowly increasing his lead now. It's almost three seconds. Yeah, he's he's a really good type of dog too. Like he's pretty chill, um, unless he's going a bit mental. But he's pretty chill. They love to chase things, so like chase everything. It doesn't matter what it is. They love to chase things. Birds. I love playing fetch. Yeah. Dogs are expensive at the moment too. Yeah, they can get hard issues, yeah. I just realized that uh, MW Motorsport hasn't been uh, in any races this season. So Justin and Neil, unfortunately. They were a really good team and um, great to have around, but a bit of a shame that they haven't been able to make it. <laughs> Fan art of a VTuber using AI to try and find it. Yeah, right, okay. Wow. Talk about technology, right? <laughs> uh, you meant to try to explain that to like a caveman or something? 
so on <laughs> on a computer this thing a computer there's a game you play you drive simulating a real life car and then on that car there was a picture of fan art of a VTuber, you'd have to explain what a VTuber is. And I used AI to... And I... And I used AI to find it. Can you imagine trying to explain that to someone? Uh, well done, Fredo. Stuff, uh, Rob. Okay. Alright, that is it. That is it. Explaining internet alone is hard, absolutely. To anyone, hard. All right, your finish podium is Craig Edwards, P1, Rob Bowden, P2, Nathan Huppert, P3. So, great drive for Fusion Sim Racing and tanked SRT, get option two and four. So, really good stuff for that. Thomas Bryden just in the points there, P10. Jack, P11. Even Thomas, P12. All right. 